one's most accurate. Here's Natasha. Science matters. Yes, it sure does. <laughs> Well, that's fun. We should have our own little rodent running around right here. Actually, that might be a bad idea. Seaside right now, <laughs> it's 44 degrees. We've seen some heavy showers come through the coastline. And just offshore, we've also seen some lightning strikes. What does it look like right now from Seaside? Off in the distance, some heavier showers. Otherwise, right at the beach, you're okay for right now. But that's going to be evolving tonight. 48 degrees right now. Ridgefield from our a and camera, you're seeing some heavy showers falling right here, right over I-5. And uh, I think it's getting a little attention right here as traffic is moving just a tad bit slower than usual. Over to our radar, what are we seeing? And it's the big picture. Heaviest showers right now just along the west side of I-5 will be crossing over here momentarily. Also seeing it cold enough to see some snow falling at about 2,000 feet, but not enough to actually reach the ground over the coast range. Over to the coastline, again, we're still seeing some burbles happening right around Lincoln City up through Neskowin and Tillamook. Some isolated showers could contain some hail, so just be aware of that. Don't be caught by surprise. Looking around over towards Beaverton and Portland on the west side, there are your heavier showers moving through Sherwood, Tualatin, and Wilsonville. But as you go south of Hubbard and Aurora, you just have the light variety. Here's your view right now from our uh, Subaru camera looking out from downtown Portland. Uh, you can see across the river there some heavier showers moving through 48 degrees. Wind is out of the southwest at six miles per hour. Temperatures in the mid 40s, low 40s by eight, nine o'clock tonight with those showers continuing. A winter weather advisory that's in effect through tomorrow afternoon. It includes both the Cascades, Oregon, Washington and also the foothills because we expect those snow levels to lower to about 1500 feet as we get through those overnight hours through early tomorrow morning. So from now all the way through six o'clock in the morning, we could see on the roadway anywhere from about one to three inches of snow. As you pass government camp and head around the corner to Mount Hood Meadows, we might be seeing anywhere from six to 12 inches of snow. We get through Wednesday afternoon, minor accumulations after that point. Again, for the roadways, expect some minor impacts as you round the corner. But again, for our mountain resorts, this is key. We want to see more snow up there. And we're expecting perhaps close to about a foot of snow above that tree line. Okay. What are we talking about for rainfall totals? Well, depending on where you are, if you get under one of those showers, you could see some big time rainfall totals. But for Portland overall, right around three tenths of an inch towards the coast, just under an inch as we get through tomorrow morning, about eight o'clock. As we add in Wednesday midday to afternoon, we're starting to dry out at that point. We're looking at totals underneath uh, or just under a tenth of an inch for you out towards the Dalles. OK, looking at that extended forecast through tonight, 11 o'clock. Another round of really heavy showers on the way, so our thunderstorm activity won't be just focused on those daytime or those daylight hours. It continues through this evening, so be aware of that. There's your snow for the Cascades. We start to dry out by tomorrow evening. So Thursday, any chance of rain? Well, that's going to be mostly from Portland areas to the north and also along the coast towards Newport. We get to Friday. Friday's a few isolated showers, otherwise mostly dry. Saturday is a dry day as we get to Sunday early in the morning. Another chance for some showers and mountain snow. And then we're on our way to a little bit of a ridge of high pressure overall. How about those wind gusts in the Portland area out of the south upwards of 30 miles per hour as we get through about two five o'clock in the morning and then tomorrow winds back off. There's your seven day forecast upper 40s through Thursday as we get to this weekend low 50s. And those overnight temperatures, well, they'll be in the upper 30s overall. Not looking too bad. Not too bad at all, Natasha. Thank you.